Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here. I've got some exciting news about universal control. We've been waiting for this feature for the entire length of macOS Monterey. And now Twitter user Zooaway has figured out a way to enable it between two compatible Macs if you're running macOS Monterey. I'm gonna go over how to activate it and test it out and then give you a live demo of the process. It does not work with iPad, yes, but you can get it to work between two or three Macs. I'm gonna show you how to do it next. Universal Control is one of the most exciting features of macOS Monterey, and everybody has wanted to test this since Craig did a live demo at WWDC of taking a cursor between two screens and then onto the iPad. It was really exciting, it's a really cool feature, and we've been waiting for it, but it's not been released. We are at now macOS Beta 5, and it's still not working. So it was exciting news when Zooaway found a way to be able to enable Universal Control between two Macs before it was even released by Apple. So let's get started to show you how to get this enabled. The first thing we need to do is go to Zooaway's GitHub page. So we'll click on this, and we'll go to his page, and then here is the actual plist that is used to enable universal control. To download the plist, all you need to do is go over here to the download zip file right here, click on download zip. The ensemble plist will go into your downloads folder. Click on the downloads folder, you'll see a long number, click on it and it opens up a zip file. There's the preference file that you're gonna need. And you can see here's the preferences that are set. Now we need to put it in the correct folder. The folder is in library preference feature flags domain. So all we need to do is open up a new finder window. Once we're in the new window, all we need to do is command shift G to go to. We'll type in forward slash L for library, hit the tab button to auto complete. Preferences is right there. We'll hit enter. And then in here is where we're going to have to create a folder. So if you scroll down, it says it needs to be feature flags, but there is no feature flags folder in here. All you need to do is command shift N for a new folder. It's going to say you need to be an administrator to do this. Type in your password. And now we got a new folder click on it once and then type in feature flags and then hit enter and now it needs our administrator password again and now we've got our feature flags folder inside feature flags we need to create a folder called domain so we'll open up this folder we'll right click on it and hit new or command shift n and then we'll type in domain once that's created, we can open it up, drag our other window in here, that's the zip file with the ensemble plist, drag it over here, and then that's it. Now, all we need to do to enable universal control on this Mac is reboot the Mac. So we'll go here and we'll hit restart. Okay, we're back up, let's log in. Okay, we've got our ensemble plist still in there. Let's go into system preferences here. We'll click on all and then go into displays. Once we're in the displays, all we need to do is click on add display and there's our link keyboard and mouse. We see our 2018 T2 Mac mini here and our M1 MacBook Pro right here. All we need to do to connect to it is click on it once and you'll see a check mark box and it'll change and there it is. Now this is connected. Now let's add another one. Click on add display and let's now connect to the 2018 Mac mini. And look at this. We have now three screens here. Okay, now that we've got our orientation set up here, we've got our M1 Mac Mini here, we've got our T2 Mac Mini here, and our M1 MacBook Pro here. Let's bring our cursor from the M1 to the T2. Look at that. And let's bring it right down to the M1 MacBook Pro. There it is, look at that all seamless. All right, let's bring some files over here so we can show you how that works. So in the demo, it showed you how to take a screenshot from one or copy file. So let's bring this screenshot up to here and look at that. There it is. Now let's, let's cut and paste some stuff. Let's take this URL here, copy the URL, go to the M1 MacBook Pro and go to Safari and then paste it in the address bar. Look at that. Universal control working on three compatible macOS Monterey from 2016 to the current day machines. This is really cool. And this is what we've been waiting for to be able to see this. Really, really quickly, let's go over the prerequisites for this. You have to have at least a 2016 or newer Mac that's on macOS Monterey beta and you have to have all the systems signed into your Apple ID. Once that's done, you can use universal control using this. Now, keep in mind, universal control might be enabled in the Mac OS Beta 6. As you can see, it works pretty flawlessly here between three Macs. The only thing it's not working for is it's not working for iPad yet on the latest beta, iOS 15 Beta 7. If you go into the advanced, you can actually see that it does see the iPad in here, but it doesn't detect 
protected up here as a display to be able to do that. And that's the tip off part. Now keep in mind, we had to modify and add that, that P list file to all three Macs to get this to work. You can't just add it on one, it's not gonna work in the other. Ensemble P list has to be in that folder location on all three Macs after you reboot, then it'll work. But since we can't modify the iPad to possibly do that, and it's also not enabled by default, it's not working on the iPad. So that's universal control early before Apple even introduced it in Mac OS Monterey Beta. Have fun with the universal control. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.